And that's how it's done, boys. Hey, it's Brock here with Rock Hill Farms. And last week, we milled up some big railroad stringers into these true two-inch planks. Today, we're gonna turn them into a bridge. So let's get out there and get started. For you guys who haven't been following the story, this is a disc golf course. So you see the red basket over there? That's where they throw at. These concrete pads are where they throw from. And this place is really cool, but my favorite thing about it, I think, is going to be this bridge. Pretty ambitious. It's 40 feet long. There's no budget for this at all. It's all volunteer, or what can we get for free, or whatever the case may be. And they managed to come up with these beams, plus the beams that we milled for the planks. So now it's a matter of getting them cut up. But actually, one beam's leaning a little bit. That's got to be straightened up, too. So, um, it's not going to slide. If anything, it might just tip it over. There you go. Now you're... this will hold it from going in more. Yeah. You only need an inch to get the beam under right here if that's what you're going for. Yeah. Just don't jump off. No, I won't. So we're under there. Now that, that beam's not setting level. It's a little bit like that too, but... You want to try to set it? How far is it under it? Is it all, all the way? way. It, is it? It's it's the full width of okay. the board. I'm gonna come down a little bit. So. Yeah, that's fine. I'm ready. Yeah, Depends on how much. Move. Yeah, I'm already down. I think. Yeah, yeah, we're we're out from underneath the beam. It's still leaning a little bit, but I think it's down there. Yeah. What time did you say OSHA was coming to look at this? Uh, they were already here. They, they yeah, they already checked our work. Good deal. Let me lift the beam up so you can set that under. If you don't mind. I just don't want to get it too high. That ain't going anywhere. That ain't going nowhere. So what we've done on this end is raise up the beams again. We put a concrete block. We carved out a flat spot, put a concrete block in right there. So... Now the beams are flat and they're pretty solid. So, time to start cutting some planks. To me, they've already tested it out. To me, the biggest challenge will definitely be bolting to the I-beam. Once you have wood, the length of the I-beam, just screwing the planks down will be quick and easy. Straight across. No, we're gonna. We gotta. I think we're gonna have to put the wood on as we go. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So five and a half? Yeah. Right Even on these? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, as long as you got five and a half. Oh, the, um, on the ones that aren't 11, I was just still rock, do five I, and a half. Rock, you, I wouldn't even mess with the ones that aren't. Just wait and cut them after. We'll just throw it. That'll you, save you a cut. Yeah, if you're going to cut them after. Yeah. Thank you. 
all of these planks are true two inch thickness and they're 11 foot long. Now the bridge is only going to be five foot wide, but a lot of these also have bad spots in them. My plan was to use a circular saw or a cutoff saw to cut all these in half, but that would have been kind of a long, slow process when we realized we could cut them all at once if we stack them evenly. I went home to get the Geniverse so we could plug the saw in and I grabbed a chainsaw and these two guys snuck around behind my back and did most of the work. It's frustrating. We're sneaky. I don't know why I put up with it. It's time to rock and roll. That ain't going anywhere. All right, so I'm gonna have one more day coming back out here. So we have to fix something for kind of steps here or something, but I think we're just gonna mound dirt up to it, which is also gonna lock the bridge in from sliding. But I think this is so cool, especially considering this was done with basically no budget. We kind of, Curved it up this way to help with runoff. A 
Look at this view right here. When you come across the bridge. I appreciate you taking time to watch this video. I'll put links on the screen to a couple more of our videos. And I'll see you next time.